Hello guys, welcome to see learning with new videos. In this video, we will learn about port security configuration. If you find these videos helpful, please subscribe. So the port security is done on specific port to allow and restrict uh, some of the uh, traffic. So suppose this PC, if you want to restrict the PC3 to communicate with PC4, suppose this is the uh, CEO's PC and these are the management department and uh, this is the uh, these two pcs are the head of the management department pcs and this is the ceo pc so you allow this to only these two pcs which are head can communicate with ceo not not the other staff other staff suppose there are connected many other pcs so restrict those pcs but these staff can communicate with these head of their own departments so these pcs can communicate, communicate with each other but these two pcs can communicate with this pc not this pc can communicate with this pc so we apply the port security on this port of the switch so what are the procedure so first of all we go in system view and interface interface g0/0/1 and command is the port security port security enable first of all enable port security and then we go in port security port security and maximum maximum number of pcs you want to allow there so it will note it down their subnet masks so the first of the pcs that will communicate first they will note its subnet mask so how many maximum number of pcs you want to allow i will allow only two pcs and the port security port sorry port security and then the mac address mac address mac address will be sticky sticky means the first two that will come will always be uh, uh, registered here note the dynamic means if this two pcs first communicate so this will note it down there uh, mac address now this pc go connect disconnected so these two pcs are present so this will not allow these two pcs because uh, we uh, uh, allow this that the maximum number of two pcs are allowed but that those, those pcs are not these two pcs but these two pcs so th if this pc go disconnect so this will not allow this pc because it will note it down there mac address so that's why this command is mac address sticky so it will note it down there mac address and the port and then the security next command is a port security protection action protection action how many protection action so the there are three protection actions first is the protects protects it will discard the packet suppose these two pc communicate this will allow the packet if the third pc this pc will communicate uh, want to communicate uh, access the pc4 this will uh, discard their packet if we uh, do this restrict so it will discard as well as a warning that pc to don't come to me i am only allowed two pcs it's not you and uh, third is a shutdown if this pc will communicate with that pc if there this pc's packet go there so this link will go shut down so let's see how this work so first of all we uh, do shut down shut down and quit save sorry quit and save okay so now currently there is no mac address entry in uh, switch so display mac address mac address not mac vlans okay so you can see that there is no mac address entry so this pc1 will communicate with this pc2 so it pc will send the arp first of all send the packet arp command this hub will broadcast the arp so arp will go there so this will note down the mac address of this pc and then this will receive the mac and this will reply with the arp reply of arp so hub will always broadcast so this arc will go there and will it will note down the mac address of this pc as well as well so this switch will learn the two pcs mac address and only two pcs are allowed so this will allow these two pcs after that only any pc come to him this goes link goes shut down because we uh, configure the shutdown protection action so let's ping ping 192.168 i already configure the mac address 
you can see that MAC address and I write here that's why I write here to remember so if we ping so you can see that this PC1 can access PC2 this is the PC2's MAC address so now we check the entries display MAC address so you can see that the on G001 there are two MAC address which are the type sticky type and MAC address are 68 and FBC so you can say 68 1C68 and 0 FBC so these are the MAC address which are allowed here so if you now they will communicate with PC ping PC4 so PC4 is that PC so this is PC this can access the PC4 1.4 this can also ping ping 192.168.1.4 so you can see that this PC can ping if this PC want to communicate with this PC so it will communicate if this PC go to communicate with this PC this link go shut down let's see how so ping 192.168.1.1 so it will so you can see that this PC can communicating uh, pinging this PC but as this is the hub and hub is always broadcast so this PC is some packets go there so this, this link is going to shut down because uh, this third PC is not allowed there so now if suppose these two PCs are connected and this PC is go down so there will be suppose this is removed so th now these two PCs are connected now what happened this will allow not allow this PC to communicate with only there are, suppose there are two PCs are connected but this PC is not are this PC this PC is not allowed there to communicate because it already noted down their MAC address because this was the PC so if this PC go disconnect only two PCs are there but these two PCs can't communicate with that PC if now we go in interface interface gigabit channel 0 slash 0 slash 1 and undo shutdown if we up the link suppose we up the link and now this PC will communicate with that PC yes wait wait suppose this PC is communicating with PC1 yes PC1 so you can see that this PC is going to communicate with PC1 now these two PCs only are in network so this is allow only two PCs but this PC can communicate with this PC and link is up if this PC go to ping this PC this li link will, will go down so you can say that the link will how link will down so disable so you can say that now you can observe here the link is down so that's how that's how the shutdown works now we will reconnect this PC Now this PC is reconnect and up the link and do shut down. So you can see there that this link is up now. This these two PCs will communicate with each other. And this PC is the this link is up. If this PC want to communicate with that PC, PC4, PC4, so it will communicate. PC4 1.4. Wait, wait it will learn the MAC address so first of all we go and see the MAC address display MAC address so you can see that these two MAC address are present here only these two MAC address 1.2 so these are present so now if you you can see that this PC now can communicate with this PC and this PC still not communicate able to communicate with this PC now this is try to ping this PC so link goes shut down so that's how this shutdown works now we will change the protection action port security security protection action and we will come to uh, restrict this car protect also works similar to restrict you can see restrict okay it will restrict this PC to not uh, come here uh, you are not allowed because these two PCs only allowed these were the first uh, two PCs I noted down their MAC address and you are not allowed so please don't come discard their packet ignore them so we will go and undo shutdown undo shutdown the link is now up so this PC will communicate this P 
PC2. Yes, it's pinging PC2. So this PC can ping PC3. This PC can ping this PC. And this PC can ping this PC. Yes, this PC can ping this PC. This PC, PC1 can ping PC4. Yes, it will ping because this PC is allowed. So wait, wait for some time to restart this link. To learn that link. So now we'll ping it's on. So if, if we ping again, so it will work. So you can see that it's uh, it can ping this PC. So now for yes, this PC, PC can ping there. Now this PC will uh, ping uh, communicate want to communicate with this PC. This link will discard their packet. Not the link go shut down because. So you can see there this the timeout is here. It means that. Uh, this not allowing this PC to communicate with this PC and st link is still up. So that's how uh, restrict and protected work in same way. The third one was the protected. So it will work same way. So you can see here. So this PC want to communicate 192.168.1.1. 1 .1. Yes, it will work. So this PC want to ping this. So it will not ping because there are port security. Three. So you can see that this is not reachable to this so uh, this allow the two-way communication so that's how port security works so we can restrict some of the MAC address and some of the PCs to not communicate with that uh, PCs because they all are in the same networks so that's how port security work if you have any questions so you can comment and ask and please hit like and subscribe my channel and comment thank you very much